The Vietnam War wasn't just one of the most divisive events in American history, it also made pork chops more expensive. The reason why will boggle you. Farming practices and setbacks significantly impacted grocery store prices between 1964 and 1965. Prices rose thanks to the lower availability of some staples, especially produce. The Palm Sunday tornado outbreak of 1965 devastated some farming areas in the Midwest, leading to decreased crop yields. In particular, potato lovers saw a staggering price hike in their favorite starch with a 10-pound bag rising to an average of 93 cents, over 20 cents more expensive than five years prior. Thanks to reduced livestock production, meat prices also rose. Beef, pork, and veal saw the largest increases, especially when pork shortages led to a greater demand for beef. Lyndon B. Johnson's so-called War on Poverty aimed to provide relief for those struggling financially, but increased U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War still had a negative impact on grocery bills. Families found themselves paying more for everyday staples, including meat and dairy. Additionally, the military draft drained a percentage of the rural labor force, leading to widespread farming changes. Meat prices were high in 1966, with ground beef costing 49 cents per pound and pork chops coming in at 89 cents per pound. Rising costs in this period led to a food crisis for many, particularly for lower-income people and families. In 1968, CBS aired a stunning documentary called Hunger in America, highlighting widespread poverty and food insecurity across the U.S. Viewers at the time were shocked to learn the scope of food insecurity right here in America. 10 million Americans don't know where their next meal is coming from. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. Prices usually stabilize or even drop during a recession as demand decreases, but that wasn't the case with the economic recession of 1969 to 1970. Unfortunately, high inflation and the domestic consequences of the Vietnam War continue to plague grocery shoppers. In 1969, coffee cost as much as $1.19 for a three-pound canister, and a loaf of bread was 29 cents. By 1970, even prices on ground beef had risen to 59 cents per pound. However, a growing food trend helped some shoppers make their grocery bills more affordable. After the mainstream expansion of frozen food lines in the mid-1960s, consumers began trading freshness for convenience more than ever before. By offering frozen options, companies such as Green Giant and Bird's Eye made it easier for shoppers to afford products such as vegetables and pre-made meals. After the short-term recession of 1969 to 1970 failed to provide lasting relief for American consumers, the Nixon administration took more drastic action in 1971. First, Nixon imposed a temporary wage price freeze, which created a brief measure of stability. The goal of the policy was to curtail the increasing gap between wages and cost of living. However, the price freeze only lasted until Nixon secured re-election in 1972. By then, even the most essential items had already fallen victim to significant price hikes compared to the 1960s, and those prices rose even higher in 1972. For example, the cost of butter was over 86 cents on average, up 11 cents from its 1965 price. A carton of eggs, another popular product in the dairy section, cost around 61 cents. Meat products also broke the bank for many shoppers, including pork chops, which rose to $1.16 per pound. Pork chops, huh? <laughs> what else? Applesauce? Pork chops and applesauce. Various economic factors contribute to inflation, but the period from 1972 to 1973 was a special case. According to the New York Times, a phenomenon known as commodity inflation, which primarily impacts raw materials, spurred widespread food price increases. After food price inflation reached a staggering 20 percent, many consumers began protesting at local supermarkets. Although Nixon reinstated some price control measures, it did little to slow the ever-climbing cost of feeding a family. For example, a loaf of bread went from around 22 cents in 1973 to 36 cents in 1974, and bread wasn't the only popular item to experience such a large price hike. In mid-July of 1973, the New York Times reported that a dozen eggs cost 83 cents, and an egg shortage would drive prices even higher. Furthermore, staples such as corn doubled in price between 1972 and 1974. As if the average American grocery shoppers weren't already having a hard enough time in 1974, the great inflation of 1975 to 1977 made it even more difficult to stretch a dollar. In mid-1975, the New York Times reported that the cost to feed an average American family was at an all-time high partially because of skyrocketing beef costs. Ground beef cost 68 cents per pound at the beginning of 1975 and continued to climb. Inflation temporarily slowed in 1976 but rose again starting in 1977. An article in the Washington Post pointed 
pointed to increased farm prices as a significant factor in retail food costs. The report indicates that staples such as coffee, cereal, and pork all experienced price increases. Across the board, consumers were experiencing rising grocery bills at a rate never before seen. Unfortunately, weather can sometimes significantly affect the price of popular grocery items as well. In 1978, the New York Times reported that Los Angeles experienced 26 inches of rainfall in a single day, the highest ever amount by that point in the 20th century. Around the state, similar record rainfall totals led to widespread crop loss. In Northern California, a Humboldt County agricultural report showed reduced crop yields on staples such as tomatoes, potatoes, and corn. In other parts of the country, winter blizzards delayed the transportation of goods to local grocery stores, which caused price hikes in those areas. Meat and poultry prices weren't immune to increases either. According to the Washington Post, a beef shortage drove prices up 14 percent in the first half of 1978. Healthy living became a bigger focus in the 1980s, including changes to the typical American diet. Many consumers began moving away from a traditional meat-heavy diet in favor of more balanced options. In 1980, the American Dietetic Association published its first-ever paper about the potential benefits of a vegetarian diet. The 1980 Dietary Guidelines for Americans also advised eating a varied diet for optimal health, including more fruit and vegetables. Across the decade, Red meat consumption dropped by 10% due to this change in dietary choices, which had a positive impact on prices. In a KMOV news segment from June of 1980, a reporter found pork steaks discounted to just 68 cents a pound, and ground beef was stable at $1.38 a pound, one cent less expensive than at the beginning of 1979. Produce prices are up slightly. Staples remain the same. But big savings this month in the meat and poultry department. For those in charge of buying their household's groceries, 1981 to 1983 was a great time. Food costs finally stabilized after the extreme inflation of the 1970s, and some everyday staples began to go down in price. Meat and pork prices varied widely across 1981, but the fluctuations were still less drastic than in the previous decade. Ultimately, beef and poultry surpluses led to grocery stores slashing prices, with ground beef selling for an average of $1.50 per pound. Food prices remained relatively predictable for the next few years, which meant more straightforward consumer budgeting. In 1983, UPI reported that decreased inflation and increased food availability contributed to lower price hikes than in the last 10 years. For example, a dozen eggs only cost 67 cents in 1983, almost 20 cents less than in 1979. Meanwhile, a gallon of milk rose to $2.24 in 1982, but that price remained steady through 1983. In the summer of 1983, the New York Times reported that a widespread drought in the Corn Belt would negatively impact the year's corn crop. But while corn and other produce prices initially went up due to the drought, UPI reported that the corn crop of 1984 was ultimately among the largest in history. This rebound led to lower retail prices for consumers for the year's second half and represented a quick recovery from a would-be disaster. However, shoppers saw the price for another popular grocery item trend in the opposite direction this year. UPI said several factors, including including an avian flu outbreak and problematic winter temperatures, reduced the nation's egg supply. This led to a massive increase in the price of eggs. Over the course of one year, average prices rose from 63 cents a dozen up to $1.15, with some parts of the country seeing prices as high as $1.59 or more. In 1985, a report from the New York Times indicated that farm surpluses were likely to result in the lowest food price increases since the 1960s. However, although 1985 lived up to its promise with some of the best prices of the decade, the next two years saw costs rise again. A 1987 food cost review explained that higher cattle values led to a rise in beef prices, which significantly impacted overall grocery bills for consumers. However, produce played an even more prominent role in how much Americans paid for their groceries in this period. The review highlighted a 12% cost increase in fresh produce, which impacted everything from apples to tomatoes. For instance, a pound of white potatoes rose from 21 cents in 1985 to 28 cents in 1987. Meanwhile, lettuce prices climbed from only 54 cents per pound in 1985 to 63 cents per pound two years later. Droughts can be the most catastrophic of all the weather events that impact the world's food supply, and the 1988-1990 North American drought posed a significant crop threat that led to higher grocery prices. According to the Monthly Labor Review from May of 1989, the drought impacted the U.S. supply of staples such as soybeans, wheat, and dairy products. Thanks to these shortages and the effects of inflation, 1988 saw the most substantial price increases since 1984. 
Unfortunately, 1989 featured even more pronounced changes in the cost of popular products. A Los Angeles Times report explained that the drought contributed to higher feed costs for cattle, which led some farmers to reduce their herds, causing milk prices to jump by 9%. Grocery prices continued to reflect the effects of the drought in 1990, with ground beef topping out at $1.59 per pound and a dozen eggs rising back up to $1.01. The economic downturn of 1991 to 1994 did what the recession of 1969 couldn't. It made food cheaper. Consumers enjoyed lower grocery bills across the board, and some products became more affordable than in previous years. A USDA review of food costs in 1991 showed farmer surpluses leading to a drop in prices for poultry, eggs, and dairy products compared to 1990 prices. Now, shoppers could buy a dozen eggs for 99 cents, and a half gallon of milk was $1.37. Across the next few years, prices continued to stabilize or decrease across multiple categories. For instance, in 1992, Deseret News reported that ground beef cost $1.27 per pound, compared to $1.37 per pound in 1981. Although prices rose slightly in 1994, this period was one of the most peaceful times for grocery shoppers in almost a decade. Grains are at the heart of many grocery store products, including cereal, bread, and other bakery items. However, the influence of grain on the overall food supply goes far beyond these popular products. Beef, poultry, and pork prices are also greatly impacted by grain availability, since it serves as a primary food source for livestock. And in 1995 to 1996, a drought in the Midwest disrupted the country's grain supplies and led to skyrocketing feed costs for farmers. Unfortunately, the cascade of consequences for lower grain supplies didn't stop there. The Monthly Labor Review for April 1997 notes that many farmers had to slaughter more livestock than usual in 1996. This change impacted the availability of milk and other dairy products, translating to higher grocery costs for consumers. For example, a dozen eggs cost $1.19 in 1995 but rose to $1.30 by 1996, one of the highest prices of the decade. In 1997, meat eaters faced one of the biggest scares in modern U.S. food history. That summer, CNN reported that a Hudson Foods meatpacking plant in Nebraska voluntarily recalled all of its beef products due to safety concerns. This recall resulted from an E. coli outbreak linked to contaminated meat from the plant. According to the Washington Post, the recall impacted 25 million pounds of beef and led to indictments from the federal government. Surprisingly, the shortages caused by this recall had minimal impact on beef prices because the demand for beef also decreased due to consumer fears. A USDA food cost review explained that beef prices remained stable throughout the year, with minimal change since 1996. However, prices of pork and chicken rose in response to increased demand for these products. The period between 1998 and 2000 was a great time to be a vegetarian. In 1999, Supermarket News reported a 3.4% price reduction for fresh vegetables from the previous year, and some fresh fruit prices experienced equally promising decreases. For instance, Red Delicious apples were 94 cents per pound in 1998, but cost only 90 cents per pound in 1999. Even meat and dairy products, often plagued with price increases, were more reliably affordable during this time. For example, although the price of milk experienced a brief price spike, climbing to $2.84 in 1999, it dropped to $2.78 in 2000. In 2001, the September 11th attacks disrupted the U.S. agricultural sector and increased awareness of the vulnerability of the food supply. In addition, a Congressional Research Service report indicates that the nation experienced some food product loss due to import delays from Canada and Mexico. This short-term setback disturbed the flow of goods at the borders, but didn't necessarily impact food prices. Surprisingly, the cost of most grocery staples decreased in 2001 despite this tragedy, due to worldwide surpluses of many of those items. The Guardian reported that a pound of coffee fell from $1.26 to just under $0.60, cents, while crops such as tomatoes, strawberries, lettuce, and grapes also experienced reduced prices. Of all the grocery products that U.S. shoppers commonly buy, the cost of a dozen eggs has experienced some of the most considerable price fluctuations over time. Although UPI reported that grocery store prices decreased on many staples in 2002, eggs bucked the trend by becoming significantly more expensive by 2003 due to supply shortages. However, eggs were just one product that experienced a price increase. A monthly labor review revealed that fresh vegetables such as lettuce, broccoli, and bell peppers became more expensive in 2003 due to unexpected weather conditions in the spring. Furthermore, UPI explained that potatoes went up to $2.63 for a five-pound bag in 2002, up 41 cents from the previous year. Still, American consumers enjoyed lower prices overall thanks to the rise of warehouse-style supermarkets and other discount retailers in 2003. 
During the 2003 holiday season, the CDC made a discovery that would launch a global health scare when a lone Washington cow was diagnosed with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSE. The diagnosis led to beef recalls and changes to testing requirements for this disorder, more widely known as mad cow disease in sensationalized news reports. Nearly every publication in the U.S. covered the story, provoking fear in shoppers around the nation. When news of the diseased cow reached the international stage, other countries began restricting imports of U.S. beef. Shortly after the news of mad cow disease in Washington state broke out, Japan, one of the largest buyers of U.S. beef, banned imports of it. Reuters notes that these bans resulted in $11 billion worth of lost profit between 2004 to 2007. Furthermore, shortages caused by the recall resulted in high grocery store prices for stateside consumers. Before the 2003 incident, beef prices reached an average of $3.75 per pound, already higher than typical. However, in 2004, that same pound of beef cost $4.07. Hurricane Katrina caused widespread destruction in 2005, which included damage to farms and growing fields in the southeastern U.S. According to Just Food, the storm's estimated impact on the agricultural industry exceeded $2 billion because of challenges with crop loss and increased transportation costs. The damage caused by the storm made it more difficult to both import and export many of the grocery staples that are popular among U.S. consumers. Although the prices of many food products remained stable in the immediate aftermath of the storm, shoppers paid more for some items in the following year. For example, the price of bananas, rice, and sugar in particular rose in response to crop destruction and stalled imports. When it comes to transporting food from farms and supplies to local stores, fuel prices often have a direct correlation with grocery prices. Between 2007 to 2009, a surge in fuel prices partially contributed to crisis-level food cost increases. For example, flour prices increased by 69 cents in 2008, rising to $2.39 for a five-pound bag. Furthermore, CNN reported that milk prices rose by a staggering 23 percent over the course of 2007. In addition to fuel prices, a report from the U.S. Department of State revealed that export restrictions and panic buying during the Great Recession contributed to the rising cost of groceries. However, 2009 brought better news for consumers with lower prices reported for wheat, corn, and other staples as the recession reduced demand for consumer goods across the board, which also helped slightly drive down costs. Unfortunately, this price relief was short-lived for grocery store shoppers. After a short period of stability, food prices soared in 2010. According to the New York Times, the price increases that plagued the U.S. and most of the world stemmed from an overabundance of printed money. The Guardian reported a 30 percent spike in worldwide wheat and corn prices in late 2010 and predicted an international food crisis. Unfortunately, they were right. Between 2010 and 2011, the price of a bushel of corn rose from $3.66 to $4.94, the largest increase in the 21st century. The price climbed even higher in 2012 as the crisis continued, reaching $6.07. In January 2011, an FP article labeled this intense surge in food prices the Great Food Crisis and described the multiple factors involved in ever-increasing world grocery prices – population growth, climate concerns, and the use of grain to create fuel. Unfortunately, grocery shoppers were in for more hardships in 2012. Euro News reported that a drought in the Midwestern U.S. drove domestic and international food prices even higher. Concern about extreme hot and dry weather in the U.S. Midwest sent maize to a record high last month, up almost 23% from June.